time, uh, Mr. Zikan. <coughs> Thank you for being here this morning. Um, thus far, writings like mine and Mississauga in general has really benefited from the investment in infrastructure, specifically when it comes to public transit. But uh, I was happy to see that in this budget, 29.9 billion is gonna be spent over 11 years to support social infrastructure. And this is gonna actually require uh, productive consultation with the provinces and municipalities. So could you please provide us with some insight as to these consultations, how they've gone thus far and how they're going to continue uh, in the future, please. Thank you for the uh, question. Social infrastructure is, uh, I think, a good example of the collaboration and the collaborative approach that we take, not just uh, between ourselves and provinces, territories and municipalities, but with other government departments as well, because the social infrastructure category is vast. It includes housing, um, which of course is uh, under the purview of Canada Mortgage and Housing. Um, there's a, a homelessness component as well. There's an early childhood learning component, and that is under uh, Minister Duclos' purview as well. So we work very closely with our partners and other departments. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a long tradition of engagement with provincial, territorial, and municipal colleagues. Uh, also, um, organizations like the Federation of Canadian Municipalities to really try and understand where the pressures and the priorities are when it comes to infrastructure. Um, you're, you're probably aware that the Federation of Canadian Municipalities has been asking for a, a number of years for greater investments in social and affordable housing. And so I think we see that in, uh, in yesterday's budget. I actually have uh, three co-ops <laughs> in my writing, so I do appreciate that as well. Uh, I'm going to split the rest of my time with my colleague Vance.